Good, wonderful morning. It is I, Like a Boss, and today we're here to do a very quick tutorial. I hope this is going to help subsistence uh, players out um, with help from my good friend Caddy10. Um, he has helped me get uh, port forwarding to work properly for subsistence co-op play. Now, I ran into a unique problem. i uh, been talking to all my buddies, DT, Papa Rob, Caddy, the whole crew that are playing subsistence with me, and they suggested I try to do a tutorial. So, I hope this is going to work out properly. Okay, I'm going to open up a document here. This is Caddy's actual tutorial that he has put on uh, the forums. This all will be in the descriptions. I am just going to copy and paste it right into this video's description. So, along with a couple of links, he is recommending we get a port forwarding utility. This is the link to it. It will be in the description. Also, I have included, uh, this is a website, portforwarding.com, because each manufacturer of router is different, different access point, different uh, logins. So if you don't know how to port forward, go check this site out. It should help you out. Okay, let's jump into the utility portion. Now, some of this isn't showing up on my screen capture in OBS, so I'm not sure um, what, uh, why, but we're going to move along anyway. So, you're going to just hit the trial version here and tell it OK. It's going to open this window up that you can't see. Anyway, I don't know why you can't see this one window but you're going to find static IP address you're going to click on the tab and it will pop up and ask if it's okay tell it yes now you can see what I'm talking about all right the problem I ran into was in uh, my static IP address because if you are familiar with servers at all and basically you are hosting a server on your PC. The server IP address has to remain static. So you're going to go into this utility and click on the static tab and then you will see this window pop up. Now the problem I ran into was there is a thing on every network called the subnet mask. And what that is, and I'm not an expert on uh, networking guys but from my understanding your subnet mask is the range of IP addresses that your computer or your network allows and the problem I ran into when I had hit this button here that says make it static was um, outside of my subnet mask so it assigned me a number essentially that I couldn't obtain so to fix that, I went into the subnet mask and tried to play around and broaden the range out so it covered the IP address that it gave me and it was a fiasco. But I'm here to offer a solution. You click on change settings and another window opens. All I did was add one that's in my subnet mask, in my range here and hit apply and uh, that fixed the problem. So, I don't have any of my buddies online right now to show you that it does work, but you have to get this static IP address. This port forwarding um, utility works perfectly. It is free. Hit the trial version. Um, that is a window that you couldn't see. And now, in this tutorial, guys, I'm not going to show you how to uh, go into the router and change all of that stuff. It's just basically that quick little demonstration as well as uh, uh, Caddy's tutorial. This will walk you through really well. It will be in the descriptions. 
and uh, you guys I don't know why oh I do know why <laughs> my hotkey is the plus sign to start OBS so that's why gals had a plus in it but you can simply just look this up follow it it's specific to each and every router slash modem um, if you get your if your router is from your um, ISP your internet service provider you may need uh, more help than what I can offer you but the problem I was running into was the whole subnet mask thing but if you guys are able to follow this tutorial and with help from portforwarding.com and this utility right here you should be good to go to uh, play subsistence uh, you know what we can do really quickly here I'll show you something we'll go ahead and start up subsistence and I will show you all their bodies sleeping because their bodies do not despawn yeah unreal is very loud so then at that point once you have your game set up and I will be changing that password guys so don't try to join my game it is pretty simple and the name of my game is boss fart so you guys will see me in the server list but I will be changing that uh, password <laughs> not that I'm not friendly and don't want to play with you guys but I do want to keep trolls out this is our base get up here here are some of the guys sleeping you can see them let me get out my light so we can see them properly there we go and I have Caddy, Papa Rob, and Danish Sinker. I don't know where Danish is. He might... Oh, he's at our Cougar base, which I'll probably make a video about the Cougar base as well. But as you can clearly see, it is functioning. Guys, if it's a simple question, go ahead and put it in the comments. If I can help, I certainly will. Um, and if it's something I don't know, I will definitely direct it towards Caddy and he can maybe help us out. I hope this helped. I feel that I didn't have a super ton of information for you guys, but I, I hope this helps. Till next time, boss out. Thanks for watching.